Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado, we're going to be taking a look at showing you how to install the Retrax Pro MX Aluminum Hard Tonneau Cover, part number RT80472. So here's what our Retrax Tonneau Cover looks like fully installed, and this is going to be a really nice upgrade over the traditional style, snap style tonneau covers. What I really like about our tonneau cover is that it doesn't have those folding sections or it doesn't roll up like a soft tonneau cover does. If we want to open it up, we can simply come to this latch right here and we can push it open and then we have the opportunity to lock it anywhere from all the way to the back, anywhere into the front, simply just push that latch down. Now the big benefit of being able to lock our tonneau cover in any position along the bed is that if we have elongated cargo that we're carrying, we can actually take our tonneau cover right up against it and lock it into position, keeping it secure, or if we're towing with a fifth wheel, we don't have to worry about our tonneau cover getting in the way or blocking our rear window. And with the tonneau cover fully retracted, it's only going to take up a little bit of space in the back of our bed. So if I get my tape measure out and come to the very end of my tonneau cover, it's only going to take up a little bit more than a foot. Now they achieved that space saving design because this canister here actually has our tonneau cover roll up inside and the front cover up top is going to stay nice and flush with our tonneau cover the whole time that we unroll it. Our tonneau cover is going to feature an industrial strength aluminum construction as well as a matte finish that's going to complement almost any colored truck. Now the extra wide rails are going to cover the stake pockets on our truck for that sleek finished look. Now our tonneau cover is going to be able to support 500 pounds evenly distributed across it. Our tonneau cover is going to install pretty straightforward. We're going to have a few clamps that we're going to have to put in place and there's not going to be any drilling required. Our tonneau cover is going to feature sealed bearings, not only making it easy to open and close, but since they are sealed, it's also going to be maintenance free. One thing I really like about our tonneau cover is that it does have a lock with a key on it so we can keep everything nice and secure. And when combined with a locking tailgate, we can ensure that all of our cargo is nice and secure. Now that we've seen how nice our Retrax Pro looks and gone over some of the features, let's show you how we get it installed. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do after we unbox the canister is if we come to each end, we're gonna see that there's gonna be a white tube as well as this white bracket right here that's screwed in place. Now we're gonna to need to remove that screw so we can pull out this bracket. Now I do wanna mention you wanna hold on to this bracket for later on in the installation, but we're not gonna need the screw or that tube. I'm just gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove that screw. Now with both screws removed, we're gonna pull on the cover to allow it to come out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and remove the plastic And then we can let it go back in gently. And we can just reach in and grab that plastic tube and we can pull them out. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side as well. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to pull the tunnel cover out just slightly, maybe six, eight inches out. We're gonna get ready to install the side rails. Now the way we're going to be able to tell the difference between our passenger and driver's side rails is that the flat square end is going to go towards the front and this curve is going to go towards the outside of our tailgate just like on our truck. So the curve on the outside here, this is going to let me know that it's the driver's side and it's going to go on the left side. So now that we have the correct rails and we know which rail goes where, we're going to go ahead and come to our cover. We can lift it open and we're gonna push on that button right here next to the lock. And that's gonna unlock our cover and allow us to slide our rail on just a little bit easier. We wanna to try to get these rollers inside this channel right here. So we can go ahead and lift it up. And we can slide our rail in place. Now when we slide our rail in place, you want to make sure that that tab on the back side is on the inside of that plastic cover on our canister. We can take the two provided Phillips head screws, and we're going to come to the outside of where those tabs are, and we can install them on the side. Now that we have that first one installed in the forward most area, we're going to come to the rear area and attach the other screw. 
Now that we have this rail installed, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. At this point, we're ready to put our front cover on. Now, the way we're going to be able to tell that we have it in the correct orientation is we're going to have this rubber strip. Now, that's going to go towards the back or towards the cab of our truck against the back of our bed. So we're going to take our front cover and coming from the back of the canister, we're going to slide it into place, lining up the holes on the side. Now the holes that we lined up with our cover and our side rails, we're going to be taking the provided Allen bolts and we're going to be threading them in to secure it down. Now they do provide you with an Allen key so we can go ahead and tighten everything down. And with this one in place, we're going to repeat that for the other side. All right, now you're going to want to grab an extra set of hands. We're going to set our cover in place. You want to push the cover all the way towards the front of the cab. Now that the cover's on our truck bed, we're going to need to check the gap between the tailgate and the inside of the rail here. Now that's where those plastic pieces are going to come from where we took them off and we took them out of the packaging. Now the gap we're looking for is the end of the inside of the rail here to the end of our tailgate or the cap that's on our tailgate, whichever is a greater distance and whichever one's actually gonna make contact. Now, if we come to the plastic piece towards the top here, we'll see that it thins out. Now, this is gonna be right about an eighth of an inch and that's the measurement that we want our gap to be. So obviously here, we can see that it's way too much of a gap. So we're gonna pull our rail backwards towards the tailgate and adjust it until we can get that gap that we want. It may take a little bit of back and forth, but once you get it, the gap you want, make sure you can put that plastic piece in there and remove it without too much tension. So now that we have this gap set here, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we can go ahead and grab our clamps. We're gonna to wanna to unscrew them most of the way Now, if we come to the front where our canister is, we're gonna notice that we got these two plastic screws in the side of our rails. Now, our clamp is gonna go right in between these two plastic screws. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the teeth engage the strips on the rail on the side here. And once we have it loosely in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take a 9 16th socket and ratchet, and we're gonna tighten that clamp up. Now right now you just want to get this one nice and snug and we can move to the back. Now on the rear, we're going to use the same style clamp and it is going to go in between those two plastic screws as well. Now with both our clamps tight on this side, we're going to repeat that for the other side as well. Our next step is going to make sure that our rails are parallel to each other and everything's nice and square. So I'm going to take a tape measure and I'm going to measure from the inside of this rail here to the inside of the rail on the other side. Now after we get our measurement, we're gonna measure in the middle as well as towards the tailgate. Now if your measurements are all equal, that's okay. Or if the second measurement in the middle or towards the back, they can be up to 1 16th of an inch smaller than your first measurement at the front. Now they're not level and they're not parallel to each other and the numbers are different, there is gonna be some, need some adjustments. Now ours is parallel, so we're not gonna to need to do any adjustments, but I'll go ahead and show you how we would make those adjustments. If we do need to make adjustments, we're gonna to come to these plastic screws right here. Now we will have to remove the clamp, and we can take the provided six millimeter Allen key, and with the clamp removed, if the rails are too far apart, you're gonna to wanna to turn it clockwise. Now if the rails are too close together, you're gonna to wanna to go counterclockwise. Now, one complete turn of the Allen key on this screw is gonna be 1 16th of an inch of adjustments. Now, once you make your adjustments, or if you don't need to make any adjustments, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and roll your cover in and out a few times to make sure there's no binding and it's not catching up and then you can roll it in and out fairly easy. Can you see it rolls out fine? Rolls in perfectly. Now our kit is going to come with some drain tubes that are going to connect to the bottom of our canister and we're going to route them to the outside of our bed. 
Now, unfortunately, we don't have a hole large enough to fit the tube through. So we're gonna find a hole that's already existing in the back of the bed right here. And we're gonna drill that out to a 5 8 diameter. And it's never a bad idea just to periodically check. So now we know we have that hole drilled out and the hose will fit. We can go ahead and drill the other side as well. And that's never a good idea to leave that exposed on your vehicle. So I'm gonna take a little bit of spray paint and I'm gonna spray the inside of that hole just to help with rust and corrosion protection. Now with the holes drilled in our bed, we can get ready to install the drain tubes. Now we're gonna to wanna to take the plastic black piece end and if we come to the bottom of the canister, we're gonna find a hole. Now we're gonna push the end of it in and we're gonna turn it inside until it locks into place. We can take our tube and start feeding it down through the hole we drilled. And with this one in place, we can go and get the other one in place as well. Now that our retrack system is fully installed, we can go ahead and pull the plastic off and any remaining packaging that may be left on there. And now that our retract system is fully installed, we can go ahead and close our cover, lock it up, and we're ready to hit the road. And then I'll finish up our look at the Retrax Pro MX Aluminum Hard Tunnel Cover, part number RT80472, on our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado.